All right, y'all. Time for um, problem three on your worksheet that I asked you to stop the video I mean to go and watch. So here it is. <coughs> and I think my lamp's turned off, so let me turn my lamp back on. That gives a little bit more light. All right. So first thing, excluded values. 2P, 5P, and 3. No excluded values here because there's no variable. The only thing that would make this 0 is 0. The only thing that would make this 0 is 0. So my excluded values, which I'm going to write right here, are P equals 0. Okay. Copy my problem down and make it an equation. and find my common denominator. Common denominator is the smallest thing that 2p, 5p, and 3 go into. Well, think about 2, 5, and 3. What is the smallest number that 2, 5, and 3 go into? 30. So I need a 30 out here. And I have to have a P because these have P's. All right. 2 goes into 30 15 times. The P's cancel. 15 times 1 is 15. The 5 goes into 30 6 times. 6 times 4 is 24. Now let's look at the P's. That P and that P cancel. So just got 24. 3 goes into 30 10 times. The P does not cancel. 10P times 2 is 20P. So 15 plus 24 equals 20P. Combine like terms. 39 equals 20P. Divide both sides by 20. P equals 39 over 20. Now, I know that's a weird answer, but it is correct. If you stored it on your calculator and checked it in this equation, it would be true. Make me a number line. Put my excluded value, which is always open. Put my answer. This is really close to 2, so I'll just keep that in my brain. It's really close to 2. Look here. There is no underbar, so it is open as well. Now I've got to test negative 1. I've got to test in here, I can test positive 1 because that's really close to 2. 40 over 20 is 2. And out here I can actually test 2 because it's on the other side. Okay, and I'm again going to test in my head. So, um, I'm testing back in the original. 1 over 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. So that's going to be negative 1 half. I think I'll jot it down here. Well, I'll jot it down on a scrap piece of paper so that I can actually use this paper for uploading. Um, yeah, this will work. Okay, so negative 1 half. Now I've got to take my negative 1 and put it here. Four, or 4 over 5 times negative 1 is negative 4 fifths. And the question is, is that greater than 2 thirds? Guys, I'm not getting a common denominator because look at what kind of numbers these are. A negative plus a negative, that's a negative. A negative is greater than positive 2 thirds, that is false. I'm trying to teach you some shortcuts when you do standardized tests. Don't bother to work it out, it's negative. A negative can't be bigger than 2 thirds. All right, I've got to test 1. So I'm coming back here. So that's going to be 1 half plus 4 fifths. And the question is, is that greater than 2 thirds? Now again, y'all, I'm using common sense. 4 fifths, if it was a decimal, is 0.8. 2 thirds, if it was a decimal, is 0.6 repeating forever. 0.8 by itself is bigger than 0.6, so 
So this one has to be true. Okay, let's test two. Two times two is four. One divided by four is one fourth. Testing two. Five times two is 10. So I've got four over 10. And the question is, is that bigger than two thirds? Now guys, use what you know about decimals. One fourth is 0.25. Four tenths, a tenth is a dime. So four tenths is 40 cents. 0.25 and 40 cents is 0.65. So if I were to get a common denominator and work that out, it'd be 65 over 100, which would reduce by 5 to 13 over 20. Two thirds as a decimal is 0.66 repeating forever. Is 0.65 bigger than 0.66? And eh, no, false. Okay. So I shade where it's true. Let's write it in um, inequality notation. Zero, oh, I'm sorry, I'm writing it in set notation. Zero to 39, open on each one. And if I want to write it in um, notation with the inequality signs, it's a sandwich because it's here's the bread and here's the bread. Zero is less than the letter P is less than 39 over 20. So for your answer, I will accept this, I will accept this, or I will accept this as long as I can clearly see what is shaded. So there's problem number three. I'm going to end this video. You can look on LMS and find out what I would like you to do for me for homework. Thank you for listening.